what is the LU factorization? Well, let's let A be a general M by N matrix. A factorization is just writing it as the product of matrices. So for the LU, we'll suppose that A could be reduced to echelon form without row interchanges. In this case, we can write A equal to LU. L is an M by M lower triangular matrix with ones on the main diagonal, and U is an echelon form of A. In order to find this, we'll have two steps. Step one is to reduce the matrix to an echelon form of U by a sequence of row replacement operations where a multiple of one row is added to a row below it. So not only are we restricting to one operation, we're only letting us add to rows below rather than above. We will then place entries in L such that the same sequence of row operations that we did in step one reduces L to the identity. Now I want to find the LU factorization of this matrix. So in order to do that, the first step is to reduce. And it's important to show the steps for this because we're going to need those to find L. My first row will be left alone. And then I'll work on getting zeros underneath this too. For the first one, 2 row 1 plus row 2. So 4 minus 4 is 0, 8 minus 5 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, sorry, minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Fix that. Ten minus eight is two, and then negative four plus one is negative three. The next one, I'll just subtract row one and row two in row three. Negative two plus two is zero. Negative four minus five is negative nine. One minus four is negative three. Minus five plus one is negative four. And two plus eight is ten. For the last one, I'll do 3 row 1 plus row 4. 6 minus 6 is 0. 12 plus 0 is 12. Minus 3 plus 7 is 4. 15 minus 3 is 12. And then negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. We now work on the next one. So my first column is fine. Now I want to work on getting the zeros below the 3. So the first thing I need to do is to get rid of the negative 9. So I will do 3 row 2 plus row 3. This gives me 9 minus 9 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, 6 minus 4 is 2, and negative 9 plus 10 is 1. For the next one, I'll do negative 4 row 2 plus row 4. Minus 12 plus 12 is 0, Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. Minus 8 plus 12 is 4. And 12 minus 5 is 7. At this point, I have one last step in my row reduction. So I have my first column and my second column. Column 3 is not a pivot column, but column 4 is. So I need to turn the 4 into a 0. So I'll do that by negative 2 row 3 plus row 4. So minus 4 plus 4 is 0, and minus 2 plus 7 is 5. 
So this matrix right here is U. And now we'll work on L. So L, since our original matrix had four rows, will be a four by four matrix. It's a lower triangular and the diagonals are ones. So the sequence of row operations I did to get U are important in finding L. Those same row operations need to be able to reduce L to the identity. So I'm going to do the reverse of the row operations, which is basically just a sign change. My very first row operation was two row one plus row two. So I'm going to turn that into a negative two. The next one was negative row one plus row three. That'll become a positive one. The last one will be a negative three. My second group of row operations was three and minus four. So that'll become a negative three and a plus four. My final row operation was a negative two, so that'll become a plus two. And now we have our matrix L.